man, this feels like the classic Calvin's Garage type video. You know what I mean? If you know, you know. Oh, jeez. Christ. <laughs> That's crazy. At the home grounds of the Z, the gas station. Here, I feel like almost every damn day. <laughs> crazy. You guys see it, man. You see the title? We're out here. We're just cruising to the shop, man. It's uh, an absolutely beautiful day. It's supposed to be like 77 today, and if you guys are from upstate New York or in this area, you guys know that this temperature and this time of the year is damn near unheard of, man. Damn near unheard of. So we're uh, we're enjoying it. I'm kind of upset about it because it's kind of like the last warm day of the year. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what it's going to be. So uh, trying to make the most of it, man. I'm. I'm maybe looking to go ahead and do a little cruise today. I don't know, man. Like I said, I just want to enjoy the weather, enjoy the day. Last sunny day of the year. <sighs> Gotta enjoy it somehow, man. Don't want to be cooped up in the shop all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? So I hope the whole POV thing is going to be all right for you guys. Hopefully you don't get motion sickness. I'll try and be kind of steady with it. But I will love to do like more of these types of videos. So if you guys do enjoy it, let me know in the comments and let me know if I should switch anything up. Like video wise, audio wise, anything. You know what I'm saying? Because I actually just bought one of these little suction cup things oh hang on we're, we're moving so i could always mount you know on the windshield the dslr or something like that also but i figured the pov would be kind of fun I'm sure most of you are aware. Well, maybe we got some new guys here. If you're new, say what's up, man. Uh, we are driving the Z, Z32, obviously. And uh, it's actually got a 2JZ in it. I swapped the 2J about five years ago, and uh, it's been uh, it's been nothing but absolutely awesome, man. I, I gotta say, this car's been great to me, so. Is that a Carmen Ghia? Huh, just listen to it. A little big tail, you know what I mean? Shout out SpongeBob. And she just gets up and goes, dude. I'm sure if you guys are from around my area, you know exactly where I'm at. Be kind of funny, right? Watching a video, you're like, hang on a second. I know where this dude is. <laughs> make no sense man like I don't know how it is in your guys town but if a light just if the previous light just turned green why wouldn't this one then in succession follow the green so the traffic could keep flowing I, I, I don't get it maybe there's some like more information behind it that I'm just not seeing or understanding but that just doesn't make sense stop and go stop and go stop and go how is that efficient man Jesus camera shy dude it's like I don't know how to drive manual anymore god damn I will say though this clutch it's I'm running a stage 5 competition single plate clutch and I hope the wind isn't too bad I'm sorry guys it's just so nice out I'm trying to get some breeze dude the clutch is so gnarly and this transmission it's got like the internal slave configuration which is I I'm not a fan of it whatsoever I'm rocking a CD09 transmission personally not a fan but I really don't know like what other six-speed can you get you know like besides a t56 which I've also heard people hate them so it's like what you know and I know my speed doesn't work so I'm going we're always going zero miles an hour so no worries we're being safe this drive because it's like 30 miles and this car probably gets like 14 miles per gallon even while cruising which that can't be right right I don't know I'm gonna I gotta I gotta get the tune sorted out I know the at least the 93 tune which is what I'm on now I do run ethanol as well uh, I got a flex fuel sensor and all that stuff but 
at the moment I'm turning 93 and man it is running rich I can tell you that like when I get on it and I do a pull bunch of black smoke comes out the back it's 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 rich like you know I had it tuned up for uh actually I never got a retune on 93 I got a retune on night on uh, ethanol since my new turbo but technically I haven't done anything for 93 so it kind of self adjusts you know what I mean and I hope I'm not yelling I feel like in the car I'm yelling but I feel like you guys probably can't hear me if I don't so it's a little rich she's a little rich that's for sure better than lean though anybody just move over dude like do people not understand the law I'm sure everybody watching knows the left lane is for passing only like if you're not passing anyone get out of the damn left lane and if you don't know that brother man please edu get educated you know what I'm saying I didn't even take driver's ed or anything like I know this this is common sense but people just chill like look at this guy he's just chilling he's probably going slower than the middle lane okay okay he's He's creeping by the middle lane. And I get it, the inside lane, people are merging in from the exit or the entry, whatever, like I get that. So, okay, you know what I mean? Like, whatever. But it's sometimes, sometimes it's just it's just frustrating. Especially when you're just on an open road and there's nobody in the right lane and you're on this dude's ass, you know what I'm saying? In the left lane and he has no clue. It's like people don't look behind in their mirrors or something, like look at this guy. I mean, I'm doing zero miles an hour, we're barely moving. Let's pick up the pace, buddy. Oh, there it is. There it is. It is nice, man. The past couple weeks, driving through this little part especially, the leaves have been so nice. We're starting to kind of fall over and they're starting to kind of fall off now, but man, it's, uh, it, is, it is pretty, I will say that. Not looking forward to all the snow and the salt, but the leaves in the fall, love it. Oh boy. What are we, oh, wrong lane, imagine that. People are crazy out here, dude. Maybe I'm the crazy one, I don't know. <laughs> as long as you're safe, man, like, I don't condone, you know what I mean, like driving crazy or reckless. I don't really consider this reckless at all. I'm just, I'm literally just cruising where there's open space. I'm not, you know what I mean? Like I'm not, you gotta be safe. With however you do things, you just gotta be safe. Like you can have fun on the street, guys. Like I'm all for that. Like we build these cars to enjoy them. Look, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Barely moving past the truck. Just because we're doing one mile an hour faster, he thinks he belongs in the fast lane. Just drop it down on your cruise control one notch and tuck behind the truck. You know what I'm saying? Or in front of the truck. Let's see what he does here. Let's see what he does here. What do you guys think? Will he merge? Will he merge? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Anyone in front of him? Not a single soul in front of him. Oh! There it is. Man, they take their time, huh? like little to no throttle input with this car to get moving it's just like it's the turbo size right maybe I'll do like a full walk around video on this thing give you guys a whole like um, walk through of like all the mods and everything because there has been a, even a lot even since I built it there's been a few changes uh, some some pretty good ones actually so maybe I'll do that we'll do a little walk around and do another little drive or maybe we'll do like the uh, the tune data log and get the tune dialed in put some ED5 in it my problem at the moment even with 93 is traction I'm sure I'll be able to do a pull here in a bit, but um, it's just crazy because you know I've got pretty, I got my suspension set up pretty soft, so I can kind of squat and get some grip in the back, get that weight transferred in the rear tires. But man, it just spins them heavy. I got a two, 255, uh, 4017. Look at this guy. Is he? Will he move over? There's no one in front of him, man. Absolutely no one in front of him. Oh God, they just. It's like people just don't use their mirrors, man. Like it takes them a second to find out that I'm behind them. 
I get that I'm in a small car, but damn. But yeah, 255 tire. It's a 200 tread wear tire. It's the uh, Federal RS Double R tire. It's a pretty, obviously it's a pretty budget tire. Woo, I'm burning up in here, man. It's a hot one today, so in the car, it's pretty toast. On 93, we're pushing 20 pounds, and on E85, I'm pushing 30 pounds a boost. Uh, so yeah, it's, yeah, she, she rolls out, I'll be honest. I do have some Mickey Thompsons to go ahead and uh, put on the car. Just gotta find a set of wheels that'll fit them. <laughs> it's always nice to roll the passenger window down with the turbo being on that side. You can just hear, even just driving, cruising, I don't know if you guys will be able to hear it on camera, but listen. hear that just cruising <laughs> is this a cop up here I think it's I think it's good we're just gonna say oh it does say police interceptor on it, it does say police interceptor puppy oh the dog do you guys see the dog love the dog little golden retriever <laughs> no one saw that. Damn, man, even 20 pounds, she gets down. She gets down heavy. Honestly, I'm so happy and grateful that I bought this motor when I did. Dude, you guys know it. The prices these days, crazy, right? Crazy, absolutely wild prices for Jay-Z's. I got this one shipped to my door, a GTE, VBTI. All assembled, everything. Harness, I'm actually still using the harness that came on that motor. We've integrated it into this chassis. It's just cool that like how cheap, two grand, and today, eight grand. I remember like a year and a half ago or two years ago, one of my customers at the shop, he, uh, he we bought one for his Z. He paid like 7,500 bucks. I, I was like, man, hey, if you wanna do that, that's all you, brother. I cannot say I would feel too comfortable paying eight grand for a motor that used to be two grand, you know, and even the non-turbo, the GE 2Js, crazy prices, right? Like. Control arm in the rear squeaking dude crazy what a good car though you know what I'm saying like come on man what a fun vehicle right chiller what a chiller what a ripper cruiser absolute GT car man I hope you guys enjoyed that's gonna be it man that's that's all she wrote for today quick and easy video car did great car looks great what more can you ask for right dude like I said man this car is such an awesome car I'm really I'm really loving it at the moment part of me I know I brought up the idea of possibly putting up for sale but dude it is so hard to want to do that you know what I mean like I don't want to it's just that I really would love to get into something new uh, kind of soonish maybe my next season I don't know we'll see that's just me kind of aspiring and having goals you know what I mean like just I just want something new you know what I mean it'll just be cool uh, but yeah that's gonna be it hope you guys enjoy and I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys all in the next one have a good day guys later